in this tutorial, we've taken the $9 chip computer and put it on a robot. We show you how to connect the chip to the robot and control the robot over your Wi-Fi network. Here's how we've set up the hardware of the GoPi Go. We've used some jumpers to connect the 5 volt and the 3 volt lines. Um, the 5 volt provides power from the GoPi Go to the chip. The 3 volt is needed for communications because both the chip and the GoPi Go communicate over a 3 volt rail line. And finally, we've connected also ground so that we have a level ground between the two boards. And we've connected the SDA and the SCL lines um, between the chip and the GoPi Go. And that's how we'll send data back and forth simply over SDA and SCL. I've mounted the chip to the top of the GoPi Go again for convenience and used a uh, thick zip tie to make sure that it held in place. We're powering the GoPi Go with eight uh, AA batteries. So at this point we've got the chip powered on. It's running off the 5 volt rail of the GoPi Go and I'm connected to the local Wi-Fi network and my computer is connected to the local Wi-Fi network and we've SSH'd in um, so we're running the chip in headless mode so from my keyboard I can easily tell it to go forward or stop or go back or go backward or stop once I have everything installed and everything's powered up I can run the basic test all program that comes with the GoPi Go library and just type in a few keystrokes to control it to go forward, backwards, left, right, and do some of the other great stuff that the GoPi Go robot does. We'll type W to go forward, and then X to stop, and then S to back up, and then X to stop. It's pretty well controlled right there, just from the keyboard.